Tom from Springfield, Missouri, I think they say out there, Missouri. <laughs> the power output of an amplifier is always rated in watts. That's correct. Watts is current multiplied by voltage. Amps times volts equals watts. Tom, you got it right. So an amp that outputs 10 amps and 10 volts is a 100 watt amplifier. Yep. Is there any reason to prefer higher output for one over the other? In other words, how about four amps and 25 volts? Would that all, which was also 100 watts. Is there any reason to think that lower amps, higher voltage versus higher voltage, lower amps, or any combination of that is important? And the quick answer is no. But let's, there, there seems to be such confusion around it. I probably have 10 videos on the subject, and I'm going to try again to see if we can't bring some clarity to this. First off, if we take an average loudspeaker, let's just call it 90 dB. And, and, and again, what, what does that mean? That's, that's the sensitivity rating. So that means that if you take a microphone or a listener and you set that, let's just say a listener, you set that listener down one meter, three feet in front of a loudspeaker and you put one watt of power, regardless of how that watt is achieved, you will get 90 dB of sound. Okay, just put a tone in, sit over here, or they do it of course with a microphone because listeners can't tell you how many dB they're hearing, <laughs> but you get 90 dB out. Okay, so, and it doesn't matter uh, the combination. Well, it does because here's where I need to kind of get some clarity for you. Speakers respond to voltage, okay? Voltage. The higher the voltage going into a speaker, the louder it is going to play. Plain, simple, end of story. See you next time. It, it really is that simple. Speakers respond to voltage. So you might ask, well, then why do we rate things in watts? Well, the simple answer is it takes a certain amount of power, which is a combination of voltage and current, in order to maintain that voltage. So let's imagine for a moment that we'll use the example of 10 volts. Okay, we got 10 volts going in. That's going to make the speaker play at a certain loudness, depending on whatever sensitivity the speaker is. A power amplifier has to be able to produce that 10 volts into the load of the speaker. As the impedance, and that's that 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 16 ohm rating that you see on a, on a loudspeaker, that is simply a, a, a rating, I'm trying to make this simple, that impedance is simply a rating indicating how much current it's going to take to put that voltage into that speaker. So imagine that we have 10 volts going in and uh, I don't know, what, two amps. So for, for whatever impedance the speaker is, we need two amps of power to keep the voltage at 10 going into that speaker. Now if all of a sudden we were to magically take that speaker out and put in a second speaker with the same sensitivity that has half as much impedance, as soon as we do that, if the amplifier is only capable of putting out two amps, the voltage is going to drop and the, the output level will also drop. This is where that doubling you've seen before. Eight ohms it takes, it, you know, and here's an amplifier that into eight ohms will produce 100 watts. And if it's a good amp into four ohms, it'll do double that. It'll do 200 watts. And into two ohms, it'll do 400 watts. That's the ideal amplifier that, de that delivers current all the time to keep the voltage 
the same. And that's what we're trying to do. So I hope that made kind of sense. That 10 volts and 2 amps, now it takes 4 amps at half the impedance to keep that 10 volts from going down and hence the s loudness of the speaker from dropping down as well. <sighs> Long-winded explanation, I apologize for that. But I hope that helps you understand. It is voltage at the speaker that determines the loudness. And it is the current available from the amplifier that allows that voltage to remain the same regardless of the impedance changes. And the last thing I'll say on this, speaking of long-winded, speakers generally don't have steady impedance. Their impedance is going up and down. And so what you don't want is these impedance dips making the voltage from the amplifier dip because the loudness is going to change with the impedance dips. So in a good amplifier, like stuff we make, the impedance dips don't bother it. The impedance, the voltage will always stay constant for just about any impedance dip from any speaker that you can think of. Not all of them, but 99%, <laughs> it surely will. All right, thanks.